Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Erased Episode 6. What happened last time? Last time, Irie was... We got her backstory about her dad and why why she's helping us out. And then her house is on fire because the murderer, I guess, just knows about her and is trying to get rid of her. Mm -hmm. And what else? Yeah, because we went back to present time. Yeah, we're in present time now. And Kayo still died, but it was like a day later or something like uh, that. Yeah, instead of the first, it was on the third. Right. So... And we also, now we know, because it was her mom that killed her. At least this time. At least this time. The circumstances time. may the have been the might, same, it, may have It not. may have been the same. It may have been different. All we know for sure is that she's fucking dead. Yeah. But you were theorizing that he's probably going to I'm he's going probably to going back. to go back. Yeah. Uh. Sorry, go on while I'm doing this. Just no. go on, just keep going. <laughs> Do you wish that Kayo comes back to life? <laughs> Um, what, uh, so yeah, pretty much That's, it. that's my, that's my theory, that's my plan. And we will see if those, if those thoughts come to fruition on this episode of Erased. Hope you guys leave a like, subscribe, check out Patreon, linked in the description to get a week ahead on this show, as well as on cuts on this show, which are actually posted earlier than a week ahead, usually at the top of the week if I'm feeling good, and, uh, yeah, which is most of the time, feeling pretty good these days. And yeah, so check that out if you're interested and super deep release. Let's go. Erased episode six. I wonder if like because she was a kid, she's remembering things a certain way and it's kind of tying in with how he experienced things different as a kid. Yeah. So then she as a kid thought it was just the chocolate bar when really there was like an affair or something. I don't know. Cause it's maybe it's just playing more with those perceptions because that's a big mm. thing that the show deals with. It could be. Yeah, that that would be interesting if there's something more, or even if it's just as it is. Yeah. Or like that was the final straw, or just you know whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that line before. I don't know, maybe it was new this time, but of where she, the mom, regretted, admitted later that she regretted not believing him mm -hmm. originally. So that's why she's believing him. We were like. Wondering what, like, what the exact reason was. Right. But now it says she doesn't want to make the same mistakes. Yeah. Make the same mistake that his, that her mom made. Yeah. With her dad, if she does indeed like Sauter like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh my God. No revival for this one. Just with a fucking rag. She managed to get the door open, that's huge. Is he gonna throw her out the window? Or just go out through the flames? Why'd she do that? Wow, the workers of this place are so loyal to each other. <laughs> I think he's just a simp for her and... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm yeah. Do it. Better for you. Better for everyone, probably. <laughs> Jesus, man. Definitely wasn't a coincidence. Right. Yeah. Mm. She's so fucking smart. Yeah. I wonder if he could find out who it was now and then go back and like mm. do something about it after he already knew the identity. But it would still be extremely difficult. Who's he calling? あんたが藤沼悟さんなら初めまして。電話をお待ちしておりました。ああ、ここはダメですよ。外で会いましょう。僕まだ名乗ってませんね。下お会いした時に。あなたが藤沼悟子殺害の犯人かもしれないからですよ
元テレビ医師かり社会部の沢田ですよかった本当にサトル君だった That was his mom's boss. Oh, yeah, and they like. Yeah, and then they met up that time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's what she always told him when he was a kid. <laughs> That's who she was calling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you at least tell him? Really fresh. She froze to death. Oh, so she actually got out, but he doesn't remember all this because he just. Oh, yeah. Just sapped all the heat from her body when she was in the freezer and then dumped her right back in. Yeah. That's a very specific thing to do. Like, this guy is very experienced. It wasn't just like, oh, ran some fucking he's random. So experienced dudes. that he's using different methods each yeah. time so they can't track it. Yeah. There's fire, there's freezing, there's stabbing, there's like all different ages. Like, it's, you know. Yeah. It's really difficult to tie things together like that when each situation is so different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guy who was in there for uh, interviewing that guy that day, talking to the manager. Yeah. Whoever he is. So J Yuki thinks it was his dad but didn't want to incriminate him. フジノマサトルの証言は証言は大きく参考にされたもよ。あ、容疑者リストだ。警察の推測では杉田ひろみは女児と間違われて殺害されたものとされている。杉田ひろみと面識のない5名が最終的な容疑者リストに残った。今日
今でも思ってるのいらっしゃい大丈夫<笑>愛を信じてる<laughs> why are the moms so moms are either the worst or the best <laughs> yeah <laughs> they know in between exactly <laughs> public phone あいた。大丈夫なのか。もうピンピンしてるよ。それよりさ、今から会える。真犯人のことなら電話でだって話せた。巻き込んじまったら愛の立場が悪くなるだけなら。なんだよ。全然飛ばねえじゃん。おかし
just and who knows of like anything that that like hasn't been reported yeah. or like you know and if this guy is like to the point where he is methodically stealing finding out that a child was locked in a shed a, a shed taking her body out of there putting it into someone's freezer planting a fake evidence yeah like doing it like so methodically exactly 30 minutes in the freezer put it back in the shed like that the level of organization and yeah. and, and skill to, required to pull that off means that he probably has done so much shit for so long yeah. to be able to get to that point where he can just like just gonna fucking do do this it's like just such horrible shit not just like a spur of the moment oh i stabbed someone crime of passion randomly it's like a, a super planned out and like extremely well thought out to the point that he's never a suspect he's in multiple towns manages to get other people framed by planting evidence on them both times, you know? And it's all just because, like, people are so locked in their original perceptions and don't want to go against the grain. Like, that that's always what it is. It's like, you, we can't do child welfare service because we've done this and that, and even though we kind of sus have suspected for more than a year that that Kaio's being abused, we can't do anything about it. And the way, when Yuki's, like, in the park, just, like, clearly, like, you know, emotionally, not properly emotionally developed, and uh, socialized where he's like stuttering and like trying to act cool in front of like a 10 year old and like is trying to socialize with them. Like there's nothing wrong with it necessarily, but like because of our weird perceptions about it, then we see that guy as weird and it immediately makes him a subject in a, uh, or a suspect in a murder trial and, uh, and, and suspect for serial like pedophilia and stuff like that. And like, we just immediately, you know, assume and there's no way out of it like it, you you were saying like if Sodoro just gave up like he's he's at in a way worse place now than if he just gave himself up but it shows like just being there in the park w and helping those kids with their little plane just like Yuki did yeah it like people are so locked in to like the fear and everything that and and or the fear of like not looking normal I guess that it just it poisons what's actually going on and uh and keeps everybody from looking at, at the real situation so like it, in the end it yeah. probably wouldn't even even mattered if he ran away or not like, he'd still be treated the same it's just kind of fucked up that like mm -hmm. there's no uh recourse he's doing everything he can and uh they would have suspected him just as much originally yeah. just because of the way people think like he's a manga author and he's kind of weird and he's where he's a 29 year old delivering pizzas. He's kind of a failure. We, we assume all this shit that goes into everybody's perception. It's just crazy how much, I never realized how much the show was commentating on that and how much of the show was about like these mm -hmm. societal And then we have this guy who's like a reporter yeah, and has been like reporting basic and like saying like, I don't think like something's not adding up here judging from all the information and repeated incidents and incidents in other towns and the fact that anyone who's been arrested for it like just has stopped. denied it tell yeah. they're like they're literally about to die and they still won't admit it you know to their dying breath they deny it and it still doesn't matter yeah and and he's just like yeah everyone thinks I'm crazy no one's believing me no one believes the guy who's actually trying to search for truth. And nobody, it, it just shows that like, the they society they live in don't, don't care about removing the murderer or a pedophile from the situation. They only care about the perception and like perception oh, we, that everything's we, safe we, and clean. We quickly arrested the person responsible and now they're gone. Yeah. And that's fine, you know? Yeah. It's and it's 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 crazy because I knew that, that at the beginning with the police chase and everything that was uh, that was like a thing that people were talking about. But I didn't know how like deeply it's rooted in everything that's going on in the story. It's like everything's about that, and mm -hmm. I, I had no idea. That guy is so, and that and which it's guy? The counselor guy. It's so interesting as well because if he wasn't a counselor, he would obviously be a suspect because he's fucking revisiting all the crimes he's like just showing up in the, the like the places where the victims work and yeah. like all this weird stuff he's like kind of all around but he's like oh i'm the i'm doing it for business i'm at at the site of this arrest it just so happened to be but i'm sticking around because 
it's my job to know what's going on in the city. Like, mm -hmm. no one would think twice of that guy just being there mm -hmm. for, for whatever re I don't know. It's just, yeah. But it's, it's perfect for him, because he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Mm -hmm. No one can stop him, except now there's a chance to stop him. But, like, what can you do? Yeah, what can you do? Is he gonna, is this, like... Is he gonna see that and then is he just gonna go like way back again what do you now think? that we he saw knows the mother butterfly at the end? The last frame before the end. I'm thinking if we're gonna go back to kids again, which is good because now we know the identity, or at least maybe perhaps a false identity, but they said that wouldn't really be realistic with what his job is. But we know who it is, we know sort of what they look like. But the problem will be if you go back then and you're a child even though you know who the killer is, how can you do anything about that in an effective way? Do you just find them and murder them somehow yeah. as a child? Can You can't tell anyone. They'll think that you're crazy. Mm -hmm. If no crime, like, do you have to then, because their previous uh, kidnappings happened in the other town, I'm pretty sure. In many towns around In many around towns the area around the first. So like, do you, like, you can't just say, oh, police, I think you messed up. And the killer's still out there. They're yeah, if a 29-year-old like, guy can't, is being falsely accused, what is a kid gonna- He'd scream- He- uh, All- Every kid in town was like, It probably wasn't Yuki. Like, all the test- uh, Everyone gave testimony of like, They didn't- I knew this person. They didn't do this. I, I know- I know Yuki. I went over to his house. He isn't a pedophile. I know he's a good guy. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. And then they just don't listen. And now the same thing's happen happening again. So- <laughs> Anything yeah. else you want to say? No, I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to move along and see what happens next episode. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon to see the next episode right now. If you're already watching on Patreon, thank you very much for your support. And we'll see you in the next one in person. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.